Okay, so now we're going to play with some glow construction blocks. And they come in a set, and so you get four of the big size and eight of these little sizes. And as you can see, currently they're all showing different colours, but what's really clever about this is, watch, if I turn that one to there, it's gone green. Turn that one to there, it's gone orange, so can you guess? What colour might that go when I turn it? And this kind of prediction is something that you can do with the children. Did you guess right? It was pink. We can then do sequences of colour. So I can do this sequence and ask you to replicate the same sequence. So, you know, it's the kind of things we can do on worksheets, we can do with crayons, we can do on interactive whiteboards, but now we can do them with manipulatives. And manipulatives that change that colour without having to press a button just by turning it. These could also be plinths for your very own art gallery. And we could change the colours underneath to match what's going on. Let's suppose people have made little uh, plasticine or Play-Doh models. Those could go on. It could be favourite objects. This could be set up as an art gallery by the children who then take us round and talk about the different things that are on display. And then I've got some ice blocks. All right, so again, you can use anything you want. But now with the construction, I can put a whole new layer into the object I make. And we can start to construct worlds and palaces which have light as well as shine. So look at the different materials we've got there. If we have a torch, we can be shining it on some bits or shining it through some bits. Because these are so simple, the soft edges, they're suitable right from the very, very youngest children. So it's, you know, it's a really safe product. But nice, simple, does one thing, but I mean, colour's so attractive. And it just jazzes up your construction corner.